Good afternoon everybody, how are you all? I hope you're enjoying some lovely wintry weather wherever you are. I think it's swept across most of Europe over the last uh, week or so. We have got an amazing collection launch for you today. We are back with Paper Discovery and I do have lovely Olga Director Enco just on the line via Skype waiting to talk to us in just a moment. But I have a few little announcements first of all. Now we are giving away over £135 worth of product in this hour. So by, what is it now, half past 12 now, by half past one, someone will win a share. In fact, three of you will win a share of that product. And that's all brand new product from Paper Discovery. We're talking vintage high street. It's absolutely beautiful. Now we have an amazing card base, okay? This is a card base that I've never seen before, but I know if I tried to recreate it at home, it would take me hours of measuring and scoring and cutting. Olga's done all the hard work for you and provided you with a die set that creates that base for you. It's a like a pop-up mechanism. Let me show you a card, let me show you. So this is a little bit different. Oh, I need to put the lights on this one. Bear with me, there we go, we've got lights. Lights are not included, this is completely optional, but we're looking at dimensional card bases. Here's another example. These are different to Olga's example. She has a video showing you, but we're talking three dimensional cards here, cards with a difference. You're going to absolutely love it. Let's say a very quick hello to a few people. Hello to Carol Lewis, yes, very cold there. It's just started snowing here. It hasn't stopped every day here since Sunday morning. It's brilliant. Uh, hello to Avril Vickery, hello to Terry Kelly, um, Rena Hurst, good morning from Wisconsin. Wow, I wonder what the weather's like there, let us know. Michelle Capstick, hello. Benita says hello to Olga and to Lou. Olga is listening in. We'll go and see her in just a second. Hello to Tracy Shepherd. Um, hello to Karina from Australia. I love that we get people from all over the world. Thank you so much for joining us. Now we have a couple of special offers with this new paper craft, sorry, paper discovery collection. All about crafting. So we have, if you are purchasing over £25 worth of product over on craftstash.co.uk, you're going to get the option of a free stencil. Now I'm going to go through the product in just a moment and Olga has created an amazing video for us going through everything, but let's go and say a quick hello to Olga first of all. Good afternoon, Olga. Hello. Hello, thank you so much for joining us. Sorry. So, so happy to join you. We are always talking over each other because of the connection delay. Just we'll just we'll chill out, shall we? We'll just take it slowly. <laughs> so, Vintage High Street. How um how did you come up with the idea of doing all of these various shops within one collection? Well, the matter of course is um I love architecture and design and I love all kinds of houses mm -hmm. and uh, I love doll houses even more and uh, handmade the cards that are shaped like buildings they always make me drool so I was happy <laughs> to take this opportunity and create something that is building shaped mm -hmm. and of course shopping is always fun so we can uh, create different kinds of shops and even more than the collection offers you can look at whatever small dies or stamps you have at home mm -hmm. and you can design your own shop as well absolutely and who do you see these cards going to so what occasions would you be sending these for yourself well a number of occasions birthdays of course then mother's day father's day there is one collection that is the tool shop that is perfect for masculine projects mm -hmm. and uh, those uh, also although those cards are really dimensional they are totally foldable the construction is foldable and it folds into five by seven size and can be sent in an envelope which is perfect everyone does wonder don't they how to send these cards they are beautiful they stand up on their own. They look amazing when they're sent, but how do you post them? So there's your answer, five by seven envelope. That's all you need. So um, do you have a favorite of the four sets? I will go through the sets in a moment, everybody. Um, do you have a favorite, Olga? 
uh, out of the four shops. That might sound strange, but I like the tools. <laughs> the do you know what? Shop. I do as well. I really <laughs> like them. I think there's not enough out there for gentlemen's cards, for your teenagers, for the ladies who love to do DIY and decorating as well, of course. Um, my great uncle has a garage that is his workshop and he would adore a card coming from this collection so that's definitely going to be on the list this year for his birthday in august so um just lastly do you have um a list, any sneak peeks as, will you follow on from this at all do you think maybe perhaps there might be any other shops that we could add to this collection later on have you got anything in the pipeline uh, I think we can. Um, actually, I'm planning to publish a project really soon. And uh, uh, as I mentioned, you can you don't you don't even have to wait for the new collections and add-ons. You can create them with whatever products you have, yes. following your favorite theme. And I will show you exactly how to do that and how to adjust those shops to different occasions. For instance, I'm going to make a Chinese New Year, which is today, oh. by the way. <laughs> oh, wow. That That is today. I didn't know that. Today, right, I, right now. <laughs> wow. We've been so engrossed in all of this snow and weather we've been having, completely forgot about everything else that's happening around the world. What, saying that, what is the weather like for you there, Olga? It's snowing. Yes, lovely. I love the snow. I get very excited. So I'm pleased for you. <laughs> well, I'm going to let you go because you have already prepared some videos for us, running us through everything, which we're really grateful for. You also have, of course, on the Craft Stash product page, we have some amazing images of your cards. So anyone can go along to Craft Stash website, have a look at that product. And then, of course, look at the images underneath and see Olga's inspiration. And I believe you'll be doing things like uh, projects on Craft World as well over the next month or so using this collection. So we've got lots more to see from you. Thanks, Lou. And You're thanks, welcome. everyone, for joining in. Have a wonderful winter day. <laughs> <laughs> we will do. You take care, Olga. Thank you. See you bye soon. Bye-bye. I love chatting to Olga. She is so sweet and so, so talented. Now, let's have a little look at these products that I've been talking about with you. Let's come down to my desk. I'm going to whiz through them very, very, very quickly um, because Olga has already done for us a fantastic overview. So let's have a look. I say come down to my desk. I didn't bring you down to my desk. So this is the card base that we are talking about making those three dimensional cards from the Vintage High Street. This is a bench card mechanism okay we have dies in here in fact if i just pull this out this is my own one we've got a lot in here i've got my magnetic sheets look at all of these okay we've got loads lots and lots of metal for your money in here you've got the mechanism that is going to allow you to create dimensional cards as i say cards like this they stand on their own now i've added a roof to this but in fact that strip should be across the top and you can lift up and fold everything down if you're wondering how to make that if you've never seen this type of card on the reverse we do have all of the instructions now don't forget if you are already jumping ahead of us which I know so many of you are and purchasing some of this collection you're going to be able to have the opportunity to choose a free stencil of which I'll show you in just a moment when you're spending over 25 pounds um, another example of using this card base in a completely different way, I've just made there a three-dimensional sewing shop or haberdashery. There's another one here using acetate on the front to build up a three-dimensional shop. All of these using exactly the same die set but in different ways. And lastly, and this is one hopefully I'll get to demonstrate later because I know Olga's demonstrating um, how to use this in one of her videos, you can also make easel shape cards from the same die set okay so it's very very versatile along with the mechanism there we also have the additions now the, there are four shops in total we have the tea rooms who doesn't love a lovely cup of tea we have dies and stamps a beautiful stamps absolutely stunning detail very intricate and pretty we have as well the florist or the flower shop dies and stamps again that coordinate we then have I've got the haberdashery. What did I call that there then? Tea room, sorry, haberdashery. I'm getting myself confused. We have the haberdashery, tea room, flower shop, haberdashery. And lastly, we have also got the DIY shop. 
which is Olga's favourite if she had to pick one. Great fun, great for the men or anyone who loves you decorating and do DIY. But these are the items that you're going to be able to choose completely for free if you're spending over £25. So I would definitely be popping things into your basket to make that up because these are beautiful. I have a technique I'd really love to show you with this at the end if we get time. I don't know if we'll get time. So thank you so much for your comments. I'm going to have a quick read through of those whilst I show you this brilliant video because Olga is now going to run through everything for you in detail and show you as well how that bench card mechanism really works. So take a look at this. Hi Paper Crafters, Olga here. In this video I'd like to introduce you to my new collection that is called Vintage High Street. The largest die of the collection is meant to create a 3D card that can be folded totally flat and uh, that can be turned into different kinds of stores and shops. There are two stencils that have a vintage wallpaper pattern and those can be used with the stores or on their own. There are also four die sets plus four stamp sets and those are going to help you to create four kinds of stores. They are the haberdashery store, the hand tool store, the flower shop and the cake shop. I am going to explain how each of those sets works in a minute. And uh, now let me mention that there is also a patterned paper pad. Unfortunately, that one is still on its way to me, but you can definitely check it out at Craftstash. Now let's start with the largest die set, the one that creates the shape of the card. There is actually a guide at the back side of the packaging on how to put the mechanism together, but it can be used in more ways and this is what I would like to show you in this video. The set contains 24 dies and uh, by the way the images are much larger than the picture shows. Here is the bicycle for instance. Because there are so many dice, it might be a little bit confusing, but if you take the three largest dice and set them apart, you will notice that these three are for creating the mechanism of the card, and the rest are the embellishments and add-ons. Then you just have to die-cut all three largest elements. The largest die is 5 by 10 inches and that means uh, you can use it with the Big Shot or any other 6 inch die cutting machine. You just have to run it through twice. Now let's put the card together. The die creates um, four score lines that you can fold the cardstock along. Here is the first way to put this card together. There are actually three ways and each of them has its own use. This way is perfect for creating the outside of the shop. I will explain it to you a bit later. For the first mechanism, we used just uh, one largest piece. For the second one, we are going to use the two pieces. I'm folding the first one uh, uh, just like I did before, and then I'm going to add this strip with two tabs. I'm folding down both tabs and applying some glue onto them. You can use uh, any glue that you prefer. And then I'm going to attach uh, that strip right here inside of that niche. This is going to create a counter for my shop. I would say this second mechanism is perfect for creating the inside of the shop rather than outside. The third mechanism is also for creating the inside of the shop. I'm starting by creating the same shape uh, as I did for the second project. And then I'm also adding the third one. I'm applying the glue just um, as shown and I'm adding it at the bottom of uh, the mechanism like this. And uh, then I'm going to fold down the large tab. This way we can create a really large countertop and add a lot of elements inside the card. 
By the way, this card is still totally foldable. You just have to push the large tab up and fold it down like this. And when folded, this card measures exactly 5 by 7 inches and can fit into the 5 by 7 envelope. Now let's have a closer look at all three types of cards and uh, I will show you how you can decorate them using the rest of the dice from the set. Let's have a closer look at the first and the simplest mechanism. As I mentioned, this one is great for creating the outside of the shop. Here I have all the remaining uh, elements die cut out of white card stock and I'm going to show you how you can fit them onto the card. So the largest of them is the door and this one has a flap that you can fold down. You can attach this door right here in the center of the card. You can stick it down flat if you want to or you can attach just the tab and this way you can open and close the door. You can add a personal message behind or you can kind of look inside the shop through that door. You can of course use colored papers and uh, any coloring techniques. I'm using white here just for demonstration. I have attached the glue onto the tab only and here you can see that uh, this door can be opened and closed. You can also attach this door to the side of the card and create your own shop design. I'm just showing you here the most obvious way to use it. Another important element is the window. Here we have the rectangular window plus we have uh, the arch separately. You can use just a rectangle like this or you can um, add the arch on top and attach them separately. Or there is a third way you can actually flip over this die, apply some glue and attach the arch onto the window to make two elements work as one. And in this case, the crown becomes a window sill. Here it is at the bottom of the card. You can attach this window at the side of the card or at both sides or you can add it in the center instead of the door if you wanted to. There is also another die that fits perfectly onto the side of the card and this one cuts out raised panels. You can use the elements just like that. You can attach them at both sides or you can use the same die and cut into the side of the card. This way the panel areas will be completely cut out and the die is also going to add the decorative score line. This element can be used both for the outside and the inside of the shop. There are also some more dies for the outside like this awning for instance. This one also fits uh, into the niche. You can attach it right above the door. There is also a bicycle that you can park by your shop, just like this. There is also a die cut word shop that you can attach above the door or in any other place. There are a couple of uh, potted plants that you can use both outside and inside of the shop. You can attach them to the side of the card by the bicycle or below the window. There is also a nice small hanging sign included in the set and this one is going to fit perfectly onto the door. The next die here is also the wall panel. This one has no cutting edge but instead it can create a debossed pattern. So here I have it uh, debossed on a piece of paper and it can also fit to the side of the card. There are more nice additions that you can use on your project, like for instance uh, that large fancy cast iron hanging sign. Now let's move on to the second mechanism. This time we are creating the inside of the shop. Here we can use this awning for instance. We can also add it inside or we can trim down that little tab 
at the side and use the score line to fold down that piece and then it's going to fit right onto the countertop and it and it's going to work like a tablecloth. This one's going to be perfect for the cake shop that we are going to look at a bit later. To decorate the inside of the shop, we can use uh, the panels or the windows on the sides of the card, and then we can also add uh, lots of shelves inside. There are three shelf dies included in the set. They are the largest one, the medium one, and the smaller one. The larger two shelves are mostly for the center of the card, but the smallest one can also be used for the sides of the card. This way you can add more shelves instead of the panels or the windows. There are also three decorated rectangle dice in the set and those ones are to make the drawers. This way we can turn the counter into the cabinet and those drawers also fit to the sides of the card. Now let's move on to the third mechanism. I would say that this one is kind of a close-up of the countertop. With this mechanism we can use really a lot of shelves and drawers and this one is uh, the perfect one to use with all the add-ons from the collection. You can create a really nice display of cakes or flowers or other things. Now talking about all other things that you can display, let's have a look at uh, the remaining products from the collection. There are four large stamp sets, each of them is 6 by 8 inches. Here we have a tool shop and this one is going to be perfect for masculine cards. Then there is a flower shop with all kinds of flowers plus some gardening instruments. And there is also a cake, tea and coffee shop. The last one is the haberdashery with all the sewing accessories and nice labels too. There are also four dies that are the same theme that are flowers, cakes, tools and uh, sewing. But there is uh, something I'd like to explain about using the dies and stamps. Just a few dies from the set work as the matching dies for the stamped images. In this case, they are a couple of potted plants, uh, a rubber boot and uh, a poster. All the remaining dies from the set are meant to work on their own. They are really intricate images and there are no matching stamps for them. Although you can definitely use them along with the stamps. For instance, that uh, flower stand can be used both with the dies or with the stamped images that are cut out. If you want to create a flower shop, you can simply place the die cut and stamped images all around your countertop. You can add um, the flower box below the window if you want to and you can also place the large poster just behind uh, the counter. The thing that I'd like to point out about those stamps is that they are the hand-drawn style. They already have some shading added to them and that means they don't require coloring. You can of course choose to color them if you like, but it is also quite possible just to stamp them onto the background or onto the plain paper or patterned paper and simply cut them out. All the remaining die and stamp sets work the same way. The stamps are hand-drawn style. Some of the dies are matching dies for the stamped images, like for instance the teapot and, the, and some labels here. The remaining stamps and dies work individually and you can mix and match them. This tool shop die and stamp set is really my favorite. You can use that toolbox and you can fill it in with the tools that you like. 
there are some really stylish uh, labels and signs included. There's also a brick texture in the stamp set that you can use anywhere on your project. And I think that that circle DIY label will be perfect for sealing the envelopes. Haberdashery Diane stamp set, the same story here. Some of the dies and stamps are matching and uh, the rest are to be used individually and you can mix and match them. Now, one more little thing to be explained. That hanging sign die is from the main set with the card mechanism, but it works perfectly with the hanging signs from the stamp sets. Needless to say that all four die and stamp sets uh, do not necessarily require the main mechanism. They can totally be used on their own on a great variety of paper crafting projects and with different styles. I hope you enjoyed today's demonstration and please stay tuned because I'm going to publish more tutorials where I'm going to create the actual projects using the products from this collection. Have a wonderful day and I hope to see you soon. Isn't that fantastic? There is so much that you can be doing with this collection. And when you start adding in, of course, Olga showed you in white, when you start adding in color, that's amazing. We've had loads of people joining us. I need to say hello because I just love that you're joining us from both Facebook, say both, Facebook, YouTube, and of course, Craft World. Let's say, like, say hello to a few of you. Um, Barbara uh, Greenhull, um, Mandy Hobden, we've got Kate Baker. Uh, thanking Olga for the demonstrations. We do have another video demonstration from Olga in a moment. Um, Mavis Edwards says the stencils are pretty. Yes, they are. Now, the stencils are these two that I have in front of me. In fact, should we come down to my desk and have a look at these properly? Because if I do this correctly, I will bring in a piece of black paper and be able to show you these beautiful stencils properly. They are stunning, but these are what you're going to have the option of getting completely for free if you are spending over £25. So that is one design. Isn't that so pretty? Imagine this as a wallpaper in the background of one of those rooms or shops or houses or buildings that you are creating. Otherwise, wouldn't this just look amazing, just embossed instead? If you're wondering how to emboss stencils, I'm hoping to be able to show you that at the very end, if we get time. Let's take a quick look at the other stencil as well. Like I say, these are your freebies. Spend over £25 on Craft Stash on the new Paper Discovery Vintage High Street and you'll get the option of either one of these two stencils. This one has florals running through it. Now because of the design you can easily cut this into strips. You could then make a frame with all four strips if you wanted to and the same, whoops, the same for the other stencil as well. So very, very quickly I want to show you some more examples some, or some examples of the things that I have made because I have loved playing with this and I have used these dies in a little bit of a different way to how Olga's just shown you but this just shows the versatility of them so I've used the DIY shop papers we haven't been through the paper pad have we no we haven't let me bring that in because I didn't realize we were missing that I don't recall Olga going through it she may have done excuse me if I'm repeating what she's just said but these papers are amazing. Okay, so there's six designs in total. They are 210 GSM. That means they are cardstock. Now, this is my working sample. So, excuse the sheets that are coming out because I've been playing. Of course I've been playing. They're amazing. We've got scenes in here. We've got scenes that are matching your, um, your die set. So your four shops, we've got the flower shop here. And it, you see it's in that shape. That's because that... Um, what's it called? The bench card mechanism die. Make sure I get that right for you. The long bench card mechanism die, the main die fits over the top of this and it cuts it out. With these four score lines in the die, you've already got your, let me show you here, look. There's your flower shop cut from this paper. Adding in that canopy that Olga was showing you, adding in the, the sh shop sign, the bike at the front. I've put acetate over the front here. So it's almost as if you're looking into like a greenhouse shop. 
watering can out the front everything else in here is all paper decor sorry I've got a sign there as well that I've stamped everything else is from the paper the papers are absolutely amazing they're going to do so much work for you so that is the flower shop one um, they are beautiful everyone's commenting how wonderful they are you do get with each one you also get a patterned paper and these are also six by twelve so you can also cut them with your die or snip into them in a different way so we've got the flower shop one here then we have the DIY shop backing paper here then we have the scene for the tea room I'm sorry this is such a big pad because it's 12 by 12 I'm having to stretch my arms and reach it so you can all see it that's the tea room how beautiful is that I have a tea room card here a little bit different I've done this using the same die set that bench card mechanism die but I've created an easel card I'll show you that in a little while hopefully but again using those backing papers so that backing paper there is doing a lot of the work for me let's move on so we then have our haberdashery do you say haberdashery or do you say haberdashery because um, so many people say it differently and I don't know whether it's a dialect thing or whether I've just been thinking it's wrong all my life someone please, I don't know if you can because it's spelt the same if you can sort of do it phonetically for me to let me know how you say it uh, we then have the tea room backing paper as well that ditzy print with the, the tea cups the hearts we've even got little sweet wrappers in there as well little biscuits um, the teapots and coffee pots they are beautiful then we have should we call it the sewing room for now haberdashery or haberdashery hab Tracy Ann says hab, so I'm guessing you mean haberdashery, not as if it's spelt with an A-R in it. Haberdashery. So we have the backing paper there, again able to cut that into your strips or snip from it. Snip elements if you love fussy cutting. We then have, I need to move forward because I'm repeating myself, there we go, there's the tool shop one as well. Isn't that just fantastic? And that's what I created this card from. See, again, a lot of the work is in these papers. The only additional items I've done is the stamping of the brickwork on the top and the stamping of the wet paint signs across there. And of course I added some lights in there as well. Do you know what this reminds me of though with those lights? And I think you could easily mix and match these to create. Do you know a lot of people have got those garden bars where they've got a shed and they've created like a, a pub, their own bar in their garden. It looks a little bit like this. You could create or recreate somebody's garden bar for them for a really personalized birthday card that would be amazing so there you go you've got all of those sheets in the 12 by 12 beautiful images even if you were deciding today not to purchase the mechanism die set this is going to bring so many different ideas and so many different versatilities to your card making so it's well worth popping that in your basket and if you are spending over 25 pounds on any of these stamps and dies you're going to get the choice of that free stencil as well now don't forget of course everybody if you are commenting you are in with the chance of winning 135 pounds worth that's a share of 135 pounds worth of product i just need to put, i need to pop this somewhere i've not got enough room on my desk so there's three winners at the end of the hour. We are talking in half an hour. I'm going to be announcing three names, one from YouTube, one from Craft World, and one from Facebook. You will all win a share of these brand new products, which is fantastic. All you need to do is comment. You don't need to do anything else, just comment, hello. Where are you watching from? How much do you love the new collection? Which is your favorite of the four shops that we're showing you? Um, that would be fantastic and if you can tag your friends and of course share this if you're watching on a platform where you can share it to a news feed or a profile please do that as well now do we want to hear from Olga again and do we want to see another demonstration she is making a card this time you're going to absolutely love it so take a look at this hi again in this tutorial I'm going to create a clean and simple card using some products from the vintage high street collection Yes, these products are meant to work with that large 3D card, but I just wanted to prove that they can be used for absolutely anything. So let's get started. First, I have created a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card out of craft cardstock. I'm also going to attach a pattern paper panel on top and this paper is from uh, the um, previous release that is called Elegant Bathroom. That's just another proof of how versatile these products are if you just look at them differently. So now I'm applying some uh, glue at the back of the pattern paper and I'm sticking it down onto the card front. 
Now all I have to do is to add some nice elements to it to create my composition. The first one is the window and the dice are from the bench card mechanism die set. I've die cut both elements and I simply glued them together to create the arched window. Then I just want to give some kind of background to this uh, outline image. So I'm applying some glue onto the die cut and then I'm going to stick it down on a scrap piece of vellum paper. I'm positioning it in the corner and this way the two sides will be kind of uh, already cut out. Then I'm simply going to let the glue dry a little bit. Then I'm using the scissors to cut out the rest of the outline. Vellum is a very convenient material for fussy cutting since it's pretty thin and this way you're getting a nice um, clean edge. At this point I noticed that the paper is still showing uh, through the vellum a bit too much and this is why I decided to add just another not transparent layer to my window. So I'm applying some glue again only behind the die cut and I'm sticking it down uh, onto the piece of cardstock. It's the same one that I used for the card base. After the glue is dry, I'm going to use the scissors again and uh, cut out this image the same way that I did with the vellum. Now my largest focal image is ready and I'm going to complement it with a couple more images from the same die set. Here I have a couple of shelves. I'm going to play around and position all three elements on the card front. I'm also going to add a little rectangle here and this one is made with another die from the set, the one that cuts out the wall panels. Once I'm happy with the overall layout, I'm going to lift up uh, the die cuts one by one, apply some glue onto them and stick them down permanently onto the card front. That's pretty easy. The rectangle frame is for placing the sentiment and I think that this 4U1 from the flower stamp set is just right uh, for this size of the picture frame. I'm going to stamp uh, this sentiment using some uh, dark brown ink. Of course, the empty shelves just don't look right, so I'm going to put some things on top of them and I'm going to use the dies from the tea room die set. Here I've die cut some teapots and cups from um, Black Mirror car cardstock with satin finish and I'm going to stick down all the images onto the shelves using some liquid glue. I've die cut more than I'm going to need, but this gives me an opportunity to play around and uh, look at uh, different variations. I ended up adding just a couple of pieces onto each of the shelves. And now it's time to add some finishing touches. I'm going to attach a few sequins onto the card front. And those sequins are actually more important than it might seem. Not only do they add uh, some uh, extra texture, but they also help me to balance out the composition. As you can probably notice, there is uh, way uh, too much black at the bottom of the card, but nothing at the top, and that uh, makes things kind of heavy. And by placing just a few sequins at the top portion of the card, I can balance it out. I will also be adding a few golden ones, since they just work nicely with the background pattern paper. Using a wax pencil is uh, really convenient for manipulating the small elements and this one is also available at Craftstash. And this is what the finished project looks like. 
all I have to do now is to take this card, add a box of chocolates to it, and give it all to someone to brighten up their grey winter day. I hope I have given you some ideas on how you can use the vintage High Street collection for more than it was meant to create. Have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you all soon. Hi again. In the there we go, another beautiful card from Olga. Again, not using the bench card mechanism. It just goes to show the versatility of this collection. Now is the fun time. I get to do a little bit of demonstrating because I asked, could I have a play with the dies live as well? And they're letting me. So I'm going to do a card using that tool shop die set. But first of all, can we just talk parchment for a moment? Do you love parchment? Now I'm not talking necessarily about getting your parchment tools out, but two reasons for this. First of all, the technique that I wanted to show you towards the end, we're already whizzing through, I don't think I'm going to get to show you with the stencils, but with the stencils I have, let me bring you down, let me bring you down to the desk and I'll show you this. I have embossed using the stencil onto parchment. Can you see that in the background? It is beautiful. The second reason is because you can now get, if you're spending over 10 pounds on cardstock, a free pack of rose colored parchment on Craft Stash, which is fantastic. So you can be creating techniques like this. It's got a slight rose tint to it. It's from Craft UK. Um, and you're going to be able to emboss. Now, whether you emboss with your stencils, or whether you emboss with embossing tools and other things, embossing folders, of course, you will get that slightly raised and white edge to it, white design in that parchment. It's absolutely beautiful, very delicate, stunning cards that you're going to be creating. So spending £10 on craftstash.co.uk on cardstock, you're going to get that pack of parchment. I think, I'm trying to think how many sheets, I'm not sure how many sheets are in the pack. I'm sure someone from Craft Stash can just comment and let you know, but they are beautiful quality parchment. Okay, now let's go completely the other scale when it comes to themes from delicate and pretty with parchment to let's go very masculine with the tool shop. And I did promise you that I would show you how I create an easel card using the mechanism for the bench card. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm still trying to say hello to everybody. Um, Joe said I'm very quiet. Am I very quiet, everyone? I can try and turn the volume up for me. If you just give me a second, I will try and do that. Um, let's see. Let's just play with me dials there a little bit. I can't increase it, I'm afraid. That's about as loud as we're going to get. I don't know if that's any better for you. Maybe. Let me know. And if I'm too loud, shout at me as well. I'll keep an eye on the comments for everybody. I want to make sure, yep, yeah, so Karen says it's fine for you and Elaine said yes, very quiet. So I think there's a bit of a variation. Maybe it depends on everyone's um, own devices on what you're watching on. Fingers crossed I've turned it up a little bit for you. Right, so I'm going to use this bench card mechanism and I'm just going to tape this down onto a piece of cardstock. I am using ivory cardstock from Adorable Scorable, so it's hunky-dory. Um, we had a pack recently that was on What's Hot and I fell in love with it. It's a matte um, Adorable Scorable and there were loads of different colours in there. So I'm just running it through my big shot now. So let's talk about machine sizes as well with this die set because I know that's often something that's asked. If you have something like an A5 platform, so a big shot, for example, your average size big shot, this die, the width will go through, but you'll find you'll need your extender plate for the length. If you have, like I've got here my big shot plus, my larger machine, you'll be absolutely fine. This will go through an A4 base. So if, if you can fit an A4 size piece of cardstock or paper through your plates, you'll have no problem with this at all. If you're A5 roughly, you may need your longer plate. Okay, hopefully that's everyone covered for that. Um, Maureen, you've turned your volume up, I'm glad. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, Reen has just said she's bought it. I'm not sure what you're referring to. I'll have a look back in a moment. I think I'm missing comments. There's so many of you commenting. Now, so we have now got score lines in here. As Olga showed you with the bench card, everything's scored for you. And you'd mountain and valley fold these two, concertina fold, to get your, um, your shape more like 
that. Okay, but for the easel card, what we're going to do is not fold one of these. So the very top one, we're not going to fold that. Then we're going to mountain fold the second one. You see these are the same distance, okay? So there we've got the first stepper, the large stepper. Then we can valley and mountain fold the next two folds. Do that carefully. I'm not doing this with the scoreboard. I'm doing it in the air with my fingers. So please excuse me if I get if I don't get it exactly perfect. But the score lines are there. I've now got my stepper card, and because I've done really really strong cardstock, I haven't got the fold in there. Okay, I've got a little bit of a line, and you can easily cover this. If you're doing a stepper, what most people would do is put a panel on the back anyway for the greeting. So that's where I would put a panel on the back and I'd cover up that slight score line there. But I've now got a stepper card to decorate. So let's pop these ones to the side because I think that's most of what I want to use from that set, just that large die. And then I'm going to come to my tool sets. Now I've got lots and lots of um, different options here. I've bought in those pattern papers as well. They are beautiful. Um, the pattern papers are uh, 210 GSM so if you want to be creating your bases from them which I've done here you absolutely can do that's plenty strong enough so I've used the die uh, sorry the paper that's not a seam it's just the tools on the navy blue background I'm just going to pop that onto the inside of my card by the way I've used an ivory colored cardstock here the reason for that is because it really matches the tools the tools are not a bright white they are an off-white an ivory or a, a buttermilk if you want to get really um, really posh with the colour so I've just chosen the card base to match that and sometimes I think white can be ever so bright and ever so stark but if we look at these they are all ivory in tone so it's well worth stocking up on your ivory cardstock and like I say if you are stocking up on cardstock and spending over £10 you'll get that parchment for free Right, the next thing I need to do is some more background work. Now this has come from, again, from the backing papers, but it's come from one of the scenes. So if I show you in this card, hopefully you can see in the background there where the paper folds round. We've got a brickwork panel here, and this has come from that. So I'm going to fit that here. I'm just going to mark, I did have a pencil here, but ah, oh, there we go. So just mark there I've got a nice straight line in the brickwork so I don't need to get my trimmer out to trim this down so this is just going to add a little bit of detail to the back there and I'm just using a wet glue because with a stepper you don't want to be putting foam tape in this section in this large because of course you want to be able to fold everything down you can put foam tape absolutely on this section now for here I was going to use another panel of the bricks but when I laid it on, although it fits perfectly, the bricks are the wrong way round. So I have I have cut a grey that is as similar as I could find to the grey in the background. And I'm going to take this brickwork panel here, this stamp. It's really beautiful. Um, hang on a second, let's see. Hunky, oh, she, Arena meant she's just bought the hunky dory paper. That's what she was talking about. Yeah, you're going to love it it's such a good quality paper now for this stamp I'm going to use a larger block you can of course use um, a stamping platform if that's what you've got but just looking at this there we go now the actual stamp fits really perfectly across there if you're happy to do that sideways brick effect I'm just going to bring in a scrap of paper so I can stamp on here I'm going to use black Versafine on my ink pad look at me I'm making a mess and if anybody knows me you know I don't like to have a mess when I'm crafting I'm a really really neat crafter usually but you know it's for fun now this stamp is a repeating image so you can stamp and repeat all day long you can cover a really large look I'm making a mess on my hand already you can cover a really large area if you want to very very quickly so all you need to do is line up the bricks so let's just put them, I don't know how well, I can't get my head right over overhead because I'll be here and you won't see what I'm doing. So I'm going to very roughly line these up as best I can without looking from the top. But definitely if you're doing this at home, get your head over the top, have a look over the top there and do it that way. And last one, so you can see the join in these, but you won't with yours at home. There we go. So I've got my brickwork there, which will match 
the panel that I've got there. Now let's just pop these to the side. Uh, put my ink pad away before I stick my hand in it and a little wipe of this. Now how much are you loving all the different ideas that we've been bringing you for the Vintage High Street? And what I'd really like to know in the comments everyone is if you were to have your own Vintage High Street that you could stroll down. Now we've got the haberdashery, we've got the tool shop, we've got the florist or the flower shop and we've got of course, which one have I missed out? Um, I don't know which one I've missed out now. We've got the flower shop, the haberdashery, the tool shop. It's gone. The tea room. Of course, that's the last one you go to, isn't it? You go and put your feet up with all your heavy bags, your tea rooms. So you've got those four. What else would you be looking for from a vintage high street or just a high street? If you're going to go to a nice little village, let me know, everybody. What else would you like to add to your high street? Maybe give Olga some ideas for some future shops that we can add to this collection. Yeah, because I know she's watching. She's watching and probably commenting, everybody. So let her know what else would we like to see. Uh, I'm trying to think, I, I love antique shops. I've really got a thing for antique shops. They are beautiful. Now, I've got only a few more minutes before I announce winners. So I've already got lots of elements cut out. I was going to cut them for you live but I've cut them already so I think I'm going to incorporate these look what I've got here have I got any more I know I've got another one somewhere that's gone a little bit of walkabouts so I was hoping to add that but it's no it's gone I don't know where it's gone never mind maybe we can redo that one so the first one I've got is the, our pegboard now if you've ever been into a garage um, as in a mechanics garage into somebody's workshop Oh, a pet shop, that's a good idea. Of course, um, I think Claire Rowland's had the idea of a pet shop as well, someone gave her with her Daisy May designs. Um, you'll see these pegboards. Now, these can hold a lot of things, and what I love about this is pegboards are often used by crafters as well. So if you want to create your own craft room with some of the elements that we've got here, you can do that. So I've just die-cut this from Miracard. And then I've added stays on ink. Now I did this in advance before the show because the ink does take a good 10, 15 minutes to dry. So, and although it's a warm studio, I just wanted to add a little bit of um, an antique or an older look to that. If you've got rust powders and things, they would look amazing. So that's going to go in the background there. I'm really upset about my little handyman sign had a little sign that said handyman and I don't know where it's gone it took me ages that did no it didn't really I just stamped it and embossed it but never mind we don't have it here so let's use everything else I am going to use instead as I can't put my handyman sign where I wanted to I'm going to use this little sign that says DIY DIY do it yourself it's like a little badge and as you can see I've stamped that and I've embossed it this all comes within that tool shop um, stamp and die set. So the die is perfect for going around the edge of the stamp. Now, this is the fun bit, the tools. We've got lots here. Some of them I've actually um, or fussy cut, uh, decoupaged up, however you want to say it. I've done them in two tone. Let me pick them up for you, a couple of them. Um, so we've got a red handle on the saw there I've got a blue handle now on my hammer and I've got a wooden handle on one of my saws or that could be a plane and that a saw hacksaw and a big saw I'm not sure I'm not so great with my tools um, but either way I've had lots of fun adding those in now let's hang these up let's start with the saw this is going to be great for your dads your uncles your brothers uh, little boys as well they are going to adore this this sort of card aren't they uh, a pharmacy that's a good one that is a good one I'm just trying to read comments as I'm crafting I never get how how um, complicated it gets <laughs> trying to trying to craft and read comments at the same time make sure this is all going out well okay so let's put the hammer at the top there I love this this is probably one of my favorite parts look at this little spanner isn't it called it that's a spanner and that's a wrench I believe the one you twist to tighten up see I do know my tools um, I love these so this is just cut from mirror card no extra color needed and pop that onto 
there and that should stand out because of course I've got my um, I've, I've made the backing pegboard a little bit darker let's hang up our roller does this look like something that somebody you know their garage or their shed does it look like your garage or shed oh a sweet shop a few of you saying sweet shops uh, Karen said a toy shop yeah so many ideas and you could really make them vintage as well couldn't you those old shops I love them we've got a shop in the town near me called ye ye oldy sweet shoppy but obviously you don't say it with the e on the end but you, you get how it's spelt um, which is brilliant now I'm just going to put lastly I'm going to lean the saw on there and I'm going to put the wrench across the bottom here as a bit of decoration on the front there we go now folding that down so there we've got an easel card that will stand up with all the tools hanging in the background I did have I did stamp from this set the let me just show you the handyman stamp there and I embossed it the same as the silver so that was going to go on here as well but never mind you could add a wet paint sign across somewhere as well you could do so much you could really build it up and you could really personalize this so there's my card for the tool shop coming away in fact and there's the one using that bench card as well so coming away from that bench card there but there's so much you can do with all of these sets now just a couple of things left to do we have winners to announce if you've commented you are in with a chance of winning that's all you needed to do either on YouTube on craft world or of course on Facebook now let me just go and see if I've got these winners I have I have some names thank you so much um, to Maria in the I say in the background it makes it sound as if she's in the other room she's actually hundreds of miles away from me but thank you to Maria for randomly picking our winners so who's going to win a selection that's uh, over 135 pounds worth of um, paper discovery product it's a mouthful the new vintage high street that we are splitting between the three of you that I'm now going to announce from YouTube we have Cassie Martin congratulations Cassie you are our first winner we have from craft world we have Lainey well done to you and we have from Facebook Belinda Stebbings well done to you as well all three of you will be getting some of the brand new vintage high street collection just send us in your postal address so we can get that out to you now we have so many exciting things happening on craft world over the last week and coming up next week as well but did you catch the Claire Rowlands coloring masterclass the free craft along that she did but it was inspirational if you love coloring if you have always admired people who can color with alcohol pens that is a video to go back and watch we were it was around it was over an hour it was nearly two hours of coloring really close up really detailed lots and lots of explanation fantastic tutorials from Claire Rowlands of data made design that was on craft world on Wednesday as part of our free keeping keeping you crafting through lockdown series so free craft belongs for everyone there is a download so you can color along with Claire and you can still go back and watch that you do that over at craftworld.com and of course if you are over at craft world make sure you look into being a premium member as well because if you're spending on craftstash.co.uk you automatically get 10% off of your orders if you are a premium member so that is so worth looking into but it is also free to join this is absolutely a free membership for craft world and you're going to love it we're all over there sharing inspiration and competitions and giveaways and um, projects there's just so much going on so I have so much to tell you about next week but the best thing to do is sign up to emails that is through Craftstash and through Craft World. you'll get the emails once a day in the morning that's all you're not going to get flooded with emails letting you know what's going on both on Craft World for all the live videos tutorials and projects we've got coming up and on Craftstash you get the very best offers emailed to your inbox every day because we have things like our deal of the day that you won't want to miss if you are looking of course at purchasing paper discovery today don't forget to make sure you top your order up to 25 pounds to get that free stencil 
I think that's everything for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, thank you to Olga for joining us earlier. I know she's still watching it in the comments. And thank you to all of you for commenting. You've been wonderful as always. And now I will see you next Friday, um, but many more times during the week with various other things like what's hot and such that are going on too. So have a fantastic weekend.